Hello, chemistry students. Uh, you should have received a, uh, a worksheet that uh, has a graph that looks just like the one you see on the screen here, and you should have also received a piece of uh, graph paper, so make sure you have both of those. Um, and so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be graphing ionization energy. And if you remember, ionization energy um, is the energy required to remove an electron from an atom. Um, that's ionization energy. We talked about that a little bit yesterday. And so we're going to be we're going to be making a graph of um, atomic number versus ionization energy. Now there also is atomic radius on this here. Um, that's we're not going to worry about that right now. So what we're going to be graphing today is we're going to be graphing atomic number versus ionization energy, and then just they happen to give us the element symbol that goes along with each um, atomic number. So what you're going to do on your graph paper here is if you look up on the board, I actually. Um, I actually made sort of a, a graph so you know, um, and, and the substitute teacher will pull that screen up here in a little bit, and so you'll be able to uh, take a look at another way to do that. But what we're going to do is we're going to make a graph, and so um, using your graph paper kind of uh, vertically, and I'm just going to make a real rough graph here like this, um, and let's say this is your graph. Uh, what we're going to do is on the, the y-axis, we're going to be graphing first ionization energy. Okay, and that's in uh, a value called kilojoules per mole. And down here on the x-axis, we're going to be graphing atomic number. Now, um, so probably the easiest way to deal with it for atomic number for each box, um, we'll just make that uh, the atomic number of one. So just we'll just go by all the way up to I believe it goes to atomic number of twenty. So you just keep on going all the way out there till atomic you get to atomic number twenty, just like that. And then probably the each the best way to go is as you go up this vertical axis for um, for first ionization energy, we'll we'll go by a hundred um, kilojoules per mole. So you want to make each box a hundred, and we'll probably need to go up to about. Um, let me scroll right back up here which is, and just kind of glance at where we need to go. Um, looking at the highest value is about 2372 there. So we're going to want to go up to at least um, about 2400 at the top. So we're, again, we're going to go by 100s on the vertical axis and we're going to go by 1s on the, the horizontal axis. And then we're going to graph these values here. So um, just to kind of get you started here, what we're going to do, I'm going to scroll up real quickly here. And we'll go to atomic number one is what we're going to be graphing, and we're going to graph a value of 1312. So atomic number one is going to be 1312, and I stopped at 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 1000. So it's going to be about right there, it looks like. So we're going to have a peak about right about there. It looks like I'm going to have to extend my graph up. Okay. Um, so that's going to be my first peak there. Um, and I'm going to label that with hydrogen, just like that, make a dot there. And then again, now I'm going to scroll back up here and take a look at helium. Um, helium is going to go up even higher than that. It's going to go up um, to 2372. So I'm going to have to complete this graph here and go all the way up to 2372. It's going to be even higher. And once, we're, once we've got all these points in here labeled, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a straight line as best we can through these points and then it's going to drop back down again like that. So it's going to have peaks, and peaks are going to be the places up here at the top, and then it's going to drop back down into what we call a valley, and it's going to be like that. And so there's going to be questions that are going to ask us um, to take care of that. So that's what today's assignment is. Um, we will uh, hopefully talk to you soon.